everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another Pokemon Creative Sim video and I'm sorry if you guys are sick of these but I swear I've been enjoying this so much. I have not fallen in love with a Creative Sim series this hard in a long time and it's really been so fun to use all of the new Maxis match items and I've been having a ton of fun with it. So this is probably the last one for a little bit. I am going to break the rest of this week up into some more normal videos, some speed builds, some reviews and things like that. But I wanted to do one more and um, so we're moving on. We're moving on to the Caterpie family. This is numbers 10, 11, and 12. If you've missed any of the other ones, they will be linked in the playlist at the end of this video. For Caterpie, I knew I wanted to go, obviously, with a more bug look. So we are doing an oversized eye, probably the biggest eye that the game will allow. I think I might have gone just maybe one notch down from the biggest, just so it doesn't look totally crazy. But Caterpie itself clearly does have gigantic eyes. So I picked a yellow instead of doing a black, and you'll see why I picked yellow uh, when we get to Metapod. And then Caterpie has a really, really cool headpiece uh, antenna. And I knew immediately when I saw that, that I wanted to do a headband paired with a green hair to pay homage to that. Caterpie also has polka dots and ball type feet. So I found these pom pom ball earrings and I felt like they screamed Caterpie's feet. So I did pick those and then more of a simple yellow and green outfit just to match some of the colors. I liked the idea that although this is a bug Pokemon, all three of these ladies are very like cutesy um, and delicate looking. And I found this cool green lace top with these wide set trousers that I felt like matched really well. And then again, matching the tip of Caterpie's tail, which is a lighter yellowish cream color with a pair of matching light yellow shoes. And then moving on to Metapod, I really, really struggled with this one harder than I have any of the other ones. Take one look at Metapod and you have to think to yourself, how do I represent this? Um, accurately. The only things I could think of right off the bat was to make a more angular looking sim. So I knew I wanted the nose to be a little bit longer, more pointed, the chin to be a little bit longer and more pointed. But other than that, I really did struggle with how I was going to represent Metapod well. Um, so it took me a long time, but eventually I decided on the idea that Caterpie is a little bit more intricate looking. It's a caterpillar. And then Butterfree is the fully realized butterfly at the end. So it makes sense to do Metapod as a more simple condensed look uh, because it is the caterpillar going into a cocoon of sorts. And so a lot of this sim is going to be very monotone, very similar, very basic. And I also wanted to play with the idea that the cocoon is wrapped up and that's what it basically is, is like a caterpillar wrapped up on itself. So I finally settled on a more basic style hair that's shorter, still similar in color to what we originally did for Caterpie, but it is more basic. It is uh, kind of finding itself, reforming itself. I love the short green hair with the angular features of this sim. I feel like it matches so well. I did pick the black eye because that's basically all Metapod is, is like a nose and one big eye or two. He does have one on the other side and uh, very plant sim looking, but I love the angular look of it all. And I did want to do a heavier top and then a thinner bottom as he is like a little bit thicker on top, pointed more down on the bottom. I really do like think very hard about these things. And then the outfit itself was where I started to struggle. I wanted a matching top and bottom in the same shade of green. And I was hoping to get one very similar to the hair. And I was having a hard time finding that. So I, I went through a lot of outfits. Uh, and none of them really worked for me. None of them were screaming Metapod. And then eventually I think I had to go on yet another CC hunt and go find some more custom content for me to uh, finally be happy with something. I also wanted to do a skirt at first, but seeing as Caterpie had trousers or pants, I felt like it actually made more sense to transition into a pant that was smaller. So obviously going from those larger bell bottom type of pants 
sense to a skinny jean made a lot of sense. And then I found that I didn't really have one in the game that paired super well. So yeah, eventually I do uh, leave the game and do a little bit of a CC hunt. And that's the first time for any of these guys I've had to do it. But I do love what we settled on and it actually ends up working itself out. I've also been really struggling with sometimes I'll find things and they're not to max this match. And I'm trying to do alpha uh, or I'm trying not to do alpha as much as humanly possible. But there's also some that I swear to God, I can't tell what they are. They have like maybe an alpha texture to it, but they're not. Uh, it's hard to say sometimes. So I have like a weird mix of custom content in my game right now. And eventually, yeah, I settled on this long sleeve green t-shirt and it has that wrapped uh, look to it. It has the two strings tied together and I felt like that could be, you know, the cocoon coming together and closing up to create the butterfly match with a thinner pair of ripped green style jeans. I did want to do boots, but I didn't have any that were Maxis match that were working with those pants. And I think eventually I settled on a pair of high heels that match the uh, more laced up top. Definitely a lot more. But there is some black in Metapod in like the lines and the cracks. So I'm going with that as far as that goes. And then last but not least, we have Butterfree. So Butterfree is obviously a butterfly. I wanted her to be beautiful looking, uh, very elegant looking, still bug-like, still oversized eyes, uh, but definitely very different looking than the other two. So for all of these Pokemon Sims, I have always done it in sibling form. And I find that that's the easiest way to do it is just make a sibling of the first form and carry it throughout the rest of the Pokemon so that you have similar features, but then I can manipulate it from there and give a little bit of a different look. Butterfree has so many colors going on. So it really was a struggle with how I was going to take this. I could have done a black and white look, a blue look, uh, the purples and play with like all the different purples. So I eventually decided to mix them all together and do something really different than any of the other ones. And the outfit's a little weird. I'm not going to lie. A lot of the choices I made are a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie, but we're doing Pokemon Creative Sim, so I can kind of get away with doing whatever I want. And um, yeah, I did want to do a white hair because again, when it came to Charizard, he had wings and I did say to myself, oh, I could do some kind of a wing, but then it starts to get a little bit more in that supernatural realm that I'm trying to stay away from. So rather than give her big, beautiful butterfly wings, I decided to carry the white color into the hair and it looks really cool with the red eyes and the light purple skin. It's so alien looking and crazy and I kind of love it. So um, I wanted to do something big and voluminous like the wings, but eventually I found this one hair that came in a shade of white and it had these two strands of hair hanging down in front of the face, almost like the antennas that Butterfree has. And I decided that it was a perfect fit. It also had two buns on it. So it was almost as if two wings. Uh, it played really well into that idea. Kept the eyebrows black again because of the antennas and trying to carry the black in a little bit more. And then just trying to make her slightly less bug looking. <laughs> but also uh, not stray too far away from Caterpie and Metapod because when you look at all three of them together, I would like it best if they all look related in some way. And this is the first evolution line that I've done where the final evolution is vastly different than the first one. So uh, it was a struggle to keep the original features and also give it its own look that looks very similar to the actual um, Pokemon itself. And I did go with a lighter purple skin tone and there was options for me to do a darker one, but it was looking a little bit crazy with the white hair. It didn't come across super great. So I did settle on this lighter skin tone and it's not exactly the same color, but um, I believe that I pull some of the other purple shades into the outfit a little bit possibly. And even if I don't, I really do like the purple that I went with. I feel like it pairs better with the eyes and the hair and helps it to, you know, it looks a little crazy, but it doesn't look too crazy. And the dark purple skin definitely looked very crazy. So 
Um, yeah, I found this big, big, beautiful skirt in a shade of blue that is so similar to the blue features on Butterfree. And again, I liked the idea that it was big, expansive, butterfly-like wings and all of that. So uh, it also came with a black belt and I was trying so desperately to carry in the black in little tiny ways so that we had all of the colors. And I felt like an off-the-shoulder shirt was delicate looking like a butterfly, really, really pretty paired with this skirt. And I eventually settled on one that was so similar to the shade of skin that I chose and just fit perfectly. And then I still wanted to bring in more of the white and more of the wings. So I went in my stockings and in there I actually had a pair and I don't even know how I got this. I literally do not remember putting this in game at all. I had a pair of Maxis Match white checkered stockings. And I know that sounds like, oh my god, I would not put that with this outfit. But wait until you guys see it. It fits. It's just enough detail that it's not crazy. And the skirt is hiding so much of it that it really doesn't distract from anything. And um, I think that it ends up being the one of my favorite features of Butterfree. I do like to do the final evolution with more accessories than some of the other ones. So I did try to do like a handbag or something like that. Couldn't really find one that I liked that went with this outfit. Uh, but I did pair some jewelry. I found one bracelet in a shade of blue that matched the skirt and the shoes and tied the whole thing together, even though you can't really see it. So uh, that is the Counter P evolution line. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know what you've been thinking of this series so far and how did I do with these guys? Give me your opinions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post and I will talk to you all in the next one.